This is a quick overview of the workflow automation feature in Capsule. Workflow automations are a powerful way to automate your sales process, ensuring everything gets done the right way by the right person and team. And without you having to spend any extra time assigning records, adding tracks, or creating projects. A workflow automation uses milestones and opportunity statuses as triggers and then lets you automate actions for what opportunities are moved to those milestones or statuses. Let's create our first workflow automation and I'll take you through just how it works. Click the button to add an automation. The first thing you have to decide is which pipeline it should be in. If you're working with multiple sales pipelines, then you might have a different process for each one, so you'll want to configure your automations accordingly. I'm going to just choose my normal sales pipeline and create my automation. Next, you need to start adding your triggers. You can either choose just a few of your triggers one at a time, or you can click this button to add all triggers. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to add a couple. I'll add new, contract, and one. To create my first actions, I'll click to edit in this new milestone. I'll click the button to add action, and here you can see all the options for this milestone. You can choose to assign to an owner, assign to team, add a track, or create a link project. I'm going to start by assigning an owner. For this milestone, I'm going to choose to assign it to Danielle. Start typing, click, it's as easy as that. Next, I'd like to add a track as soon as the opportunity is created. So I'll click the button to add a track and I'll choose which one. I'm gonna choose my sales process and that's done. If I'd like, I can also select actions specifically for when this track is completed. These actions are only triggered if the track is completed within this milestone. Click to expand the options and add an action. In my case, if this track is completed, I'm gonna to choose to change the milestone and I'm gonna set it to negotiation. That's it, I'm done with this milestone, so now I can move on to the next one. For the contract portion, I'm gonna to choose to assign the opportunity to a different user. I have another person who deals with the opportunities once they get to this stage. In this case, I'll choose myself. And that's it, that's all I wanna do. Finally, there's the one status. In my case, when an opportunity is won, I find that I often have a job that needs to be done to deliver the sale that I just won. So I'm gonna to choose to create a project. Click to edit, add an action, and again, create a link project. The project gets the same name as the opportunity. It's assigned to the current opportunity owner and team. And I can choose to set an expected close date. I'm gonna choose 30 and leave it at that. If I'd like, I can add the project to a board and give it a stage. But that's it, I'm all done. Here you can see your full workflow automation. Now what's left is to name the automation. I'm just gonna call it my sales workflow. Before we turn this automation on, there's a simple button to test the automation, which will create a demo opportunity for you that you can use to make sure that all the actions are working as expected. Click the button, choose the milestone you want the opportunity to be created in, and create the test opportunity. Here you'll see it's created in the new milestone, and immediately the opportunity is assigned to Danielle, and my track is applied. For demo purposes, I'm going to click to complete this track, and you'll see how automatically it will change milestone. There it is, milestone's been changed in negotiation. Next, let's move the opportunity to the contract stage and you'll see automatically the owner is changed myself. Finally, I can set the opportunity to one and a project has been created for it. It'll show up here in the project tab. Finally, you might wanna have a look at the automation log. It will show a log of all the things the automation has done so you have an idea of what's been done automatically versus what you've done yourself or what another user has done. That's it, now that I'm happy with how this automation works, I can delete the test opportunity and go back to my workflow automations and turn it on. That's it. We think you're really going to love the workflow automation feature in Capsule. It's going to save you lots of time and ensure that all the things you need doing are done the right way. We look forward to seeing how you get on with it. And if you have any questions or suggestions for improvements, please let us know. Thank you.